Hey everybody, this is uh, Buckets, and I'm coming at you with another Wi-Fi battle. Uh, this one is against Chris, also known as Toto, or Team Aqua's Totodile. Some reoccurring theme of Totodile. Anyways, it's just a mixed tier battle, Gen 4. It's, a, it's actually pretty old, I just haven't recorded it, and narrated it, and yada yada. Anyway, so, he leads off with his Butterfree. I lead off with my Gen 3 I kill and set up my Stealth Rocks. Uh, I know that whatever it's going to do, like, I'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> and then I thought, like, maybe it was, like, Focus Sash or something. So I went for the Bullet Punch just to break the Sash. But apparently, at the end of the battle, he told me it was Scarfed. Doesn't really matter. I mean, now that the Bullet Punch did that much, it's just, it's, it's done for. So he brings, we both switch out, and I bring out my victory bell, he brings out his flygon, and he's predicting me to go for a sucker punch, because this thing is just meant to, like, sword stance up and then sweep. Um, even though it's just, even though it is a victory bell, but it's also my favorite Pokemon, just absolutely love it. So when he switches out into, uh, flygon, so he switches out into Roserade, I put it to sleep, and then he switches out into flygon, I go for a sword stance. He goes for a roost, predicting me to go for a sucker punch. But I predicted that and decided instead just to go for the stab leaf blade, and that is going to finish it off, despite the little freeze right there. There we go. <laughs> so then he brings out Gliscor, and this was just absolutely obnoxious. He goes for the Stone Edge. It doesn't. It actually doesn't do that much. I'm not as surprised because Victory Bell's defenses are just paper thin. So he switches. He has that, and then. Like, I just was not thinking here. I'm like, oh, let's go for a Sucker Punch. And he's like, well, I know you're going to go for a Sucker Punch. I'm going to go for a Roost. And see, if I had just gone for a Leaf Blade, this thing would have been done. But instead, it just continues on and on. And he goes for an Earthquake, Stabbed Earthquake, which is going to do a lot more. And I believe I go for another Sword Stance. Because I'm like, alright, this thing's going to... If I can't get another attack off, I'm done for. And so now I go for a Sucker Punch. It goes for a Roost. And it's like, I should have predicted that too. Jeez, what are you thinking? After getting two sword stances, he's he's gonna think you're gonna attack. But no, no, no. Just, I finally go for the sucker punch here when he's at full HP, and he takes it like a beast. And then earthquakes and bye bye victory bell. I'm sorry, that was my bad. I don't know. Victory bell is my favorite Pokemon since I was like what six. I don't know. Anyways, I bring out Starmie, and this is a legitimate shiny Starmie, and it is awesome. I absolutely love this thing. So it is uh, Choice Spec, I believe, not Choice Scarf, since it's already pretty fast. Um, and I switch out into Gyarados. He uh, goes for a Thunder Wave to slow this thing down. And my Gyarados is... I really don't have much of a use for it now. That is so slow. I mean, this Gyarados really didn't do that much. It's actually it's supposed to be like a taunting lead Gyarados, but I just had no real reason for it. And I taunt the, I taunt the Gliscor as he comes in, and... Now he is not able to roost back up, so he goes for a stone edge, which normally would have hurt my Gyarados quite a bit, but my Blissey, I mean, like, it's a Blissey. A lot of people hate those things, and for good reason. Uh, so he does a stone edge, and it doesn't even do half. I go for just a, just a wish. Um, after his earthquake, uh, this is, I, this is a bad part for me, because I just... I completely, he he wasn't paying attention, I wasn't paying attention, he's like, oh, did the taunt wear off? And I was like, oh, I didn't see anything. But, as I can see now, it wore off quite a while ago. And so, that's why, like, he didn't go for a roost or anything recently, because he was like, oh, wow, this taunt is going on forever. And, I'm still just kind of like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, I get my, uh, I get my wish, and I go for a toxic. What am I thinking? I mean, a single seismic toss can finish this thing. I think it was pretty much just like, alright, this thing's death fodder now, it can't do anything. Uh, so he brings out a mess spirit as I go for a wish. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect, I've never actually seen mess spirit before, this is my first time ever seeing it in a battle. And, like, from the looks of it, it looks like it's like choice scarfed or something like that, probably choice scarfed. Um, so then I br he switches out to uh, his Roserade, which... I use Toxic, doesn't affect it, fails, whatever the hell you want to say. Anyways, then my get, I get my wish, and I'm feeling pretty good. I switch out and go into Starmie. And I believe he, yeah, he just burns a turn of sleep. Which is kind of good for him, but not good for me at all. I'm kind of, he's predicting me to go for like an Ice Beam, so he switches into Slowbro. Key prediction here, I knew that was going to happen, and I decided to go for a Thunderbolt instead. 
and Slowbro is done for. Choice spec Thunderbolt. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, so now he brings back out Mess Spirit. And I'm like, I'm really not sure what to think of this thing still. So I switch out into my Gyarados. Not really sure what to expect. Maybe like, I don't know. This Gyarados was pretty much useless anyway, so I just decided to let it take a hit. I didn't bring out my Metagross because my Metagross actually represents as sleep fodder, so nothing else can get put to sleep. Anyways, goes for a Thunderbolt. I survive with 6 HP. What a beast. And then I switch out into Blissey, which I... Th this is pretty much what told me, like, he's going... He is... He's scarfed. Because... Look at that. He just... What does he go for? He goes for another Thunderbolt when, like, you could have naturally said, like, Oh, he might switch out. I can go for anything. Um, so then he brings in Gliscor, and I go for a Seismic Toss. That thing is done. And I think this is pretty much now just a... I think this is now just pretty much a blissy sweep. <laughs> so he tricks me. Oh, would you look at that? Obviously not Toy Scarfed. Wait, it is. And I go for a Seismic Toss. <laughs> that will do a decent amount. Jesus. I've got to figure, find a better screen recorder. This thing freezes way too much. Alright, I'll, I'll work on that. So and then he goes for a Thunderbolt, and he's still faster than me, despite the fact that now I am Choice Scarfed. I find that kind of funny. And then just one more turn, this thing's gone. Goes for an Ice Beam now. Going for the Freeze. Not cool. And I just go for a Seismic Toss to finish that thing off. Done for. Alright. So now it is Roserade. And I, Roserade's still asleep. And is also still faster than me, despite the fact that I am Choice Scarfed. And uh, I just go for Seismic Toss, and it's just going to be pretty much a couple more turns. He wakes up, goes for a Toxic. I don't, I don't know. Toxic on Blissey is just awful because that thing that will w wipe you out. It's just so it's such a sad thing to see. Although Blissey's are just so cheap, you, your only option is to like Leech Seed them, Toxic them. <laughs> Even like Burn doesn't do anything because they can just like wish it or soft boil it back, and they're just fine. Anyways, Seismic Toss, Choice Scarf, of course, finishes off. I beat Chris. Uh, it's a great battle. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um. Check out my channel, which is at Buckets, because this is I post for two channels now. Um, yeah, so hope you guys all liked it. Um, I'm gonna find a better screen recorder. Any suggestions? Please tell me because I, I don't want to keep having these random freezes in there. They kind of piss me off. All right, so uh, that is about it. Thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.